not like healing in God and show. I'm your host, Kevin Hart, and I am coming to you from this beautiful day uh, in Grafton, Wisconsin. So I hope everyone had a wonderful week, and it's been a day, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but, you know, I'm glad to be here uh, with you, and I am going to first share the energy of this week. Uh, so. You know, I would love to speak with you. So if you would like to talk to me about the energy or the topic, as well as um, to get some guidance, please be sure to call 714-816-4628. And don't forget to press 1 on that keypad. All right. So the energy this week is for Archangel Uriel, as well as Archangel Gabriel, are stepping forward for our energy this week. And, you know, we just came out of, um, we just came out of a full moon, which was yesterday and the day before, and full moons are about releasing and letting go. So part of the energy this week is going to be about Letting go of those limiting beliefs, letting go of the fears and doubts of yourself, you know, the lack of confidence and fears that you can't do something where you're not good enough in some way. So if you are feeling those types of um, triggers or frustrations or your energy just doesn't feel right and then in your mind there's all these doubts coming in, there's all of these um there's different, um, you know, ego and mind chatter coming in that is not who you truly are. It means that it's time for us to really go within and to let that go, to heal from it and to re release it with this full moon. And, you know, when it comes to full moon energy, it usually starts, you know, three days before the full moon and then three days after is when a lot of people can still feel the effects of the full moon. So um, to do that, uh, releasing and letting go, and Archangel Uriel is going to help you with that. Also, Archangel Gabriel stepping forward for us, because first he wants us to know that you know, after we do this releasing and letting go, and, and as we share our truth with Archangel Gabriel, whenever he comes in, it's about communicating, communicating as well as sharing who we are. And um, so as we do that, we're going to have these aha moments. We're going to have these realizations of what it is that we need to do next, what it is that we need to do when it comes to our purpose. So it's going to be also important to communicate those things with those people around you that you can really talk to, um, those people who really need to understand um, the lessons that you've learned from your experiences. And so as you do that, you're going to realize what it is that you're meant to do, what it is that um, you need to do for your next steps in order to achieve those things that you want to achieve, as well as to really step into your purpose. And so I want to encourage everyone to do that. And as we do, you know, this week, we're, it's going to be a faster moving energy. It's going to be um, one that has lots of different opportunities that come in and lots of different ideas that you have in order to be able to do those things that you were meant to do. And so it's going to be an exciting week. And also thinking back to um, August. And August was a month of creation. And so thinking back to what it is that the divine brought into your mindset, um, what they brought into your heart and on what it is that you're meant to do, and taking that and understanding that now it's the time to take some action. Now it's the time to understand that they're bringing in, with Archangel Uriel, he's bringing in your next steps. He's bringing in um, those things that um, you need to do next in order to get closer to your goals, to get closer to what it is that you're meant to do. So you know, as we uh, tune into this energy this week, to first 
um, do that work with um, Archangel Uriel um, as well as Archangel Raphael. He's always there too when it comes to healing and when it comes to um, releasing and letting go of those things that no longer serve us. So to feel into this energy, if there's anything that just doesn't feel right, to tune in with them, uh, to do some meditating, and then to understand what it is that they are uh, wanting you to understand, what it is that they want you to do. So, all right. So that is our energy this week. So let's go into... You know, a little bit about our topic. And, you know, before I do that, so we also do have a simulcast going on right now as I'm talking. You can see me on face, in our Facebook group, um, as well as to chat in there. So you can chat in there and ask questions, um, and I will answer them over um, the phone. You can also call me at 714-816-4628, and don't forget to press one on that keypad if you'd like to be on air with me to chat about what it is that you're going through. So, all right. Um, so I'm actually looking on the chat, um, in our chat right now. Um, so I just want to say hello, Allah. Um, I'm not sure if I pronounced your name right, but um, welcome. And I will get to your, your question. Um, so be sure to... Um, stay tuned, and I will have that on for you. Also, um, okay, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about limiting beliefs. So when it comes to limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs, and I talk about this a lot on my shows, limiting beliefs are those things that keep you from understanding who you truly are. So the fears and the doubts that come in um, that, you know, that keep you from being able to step out of your comfort zone. Also, it's, you know, those things that come in that keep you from the flow of abundance because, you know, we are meant to be abundant. The divine wants us to be abundant. But a lot of times what we block ourselves because we are not listening to what it is that we're meant to do um, to step out of our comfort zone so that we can take those next steps and achieve those goals that we are meant to achieve. And so and it's going to be, um, and that's why, you know, I mention limiting beliefs a lot when it comes to callers and when it comes to clients because we need to get um, release and heal from those in order to really be able to, you know, do those things that we're meant to do and achieve those things that we really want. And it also does have to do with manifesting too. You know, if we have these limiting beliefs, let's say, you know, about money, you know, and we believe all these different limiting beliefs that may even be in our subconscious, um, in our subconscious mind, it's going to block us from being able to manifest those things that we're meant to manifest. And so, you know, a lot of times, limiting beliefs, when it comes to um, society and when it comes to growing in the society and on this earth, we, as we grow up, we get all these limiting beliefs from you know, whether it's from our parents and it may be that they're not consciously sharing with you what, uh, you know, these limiting beliefs, uh, um, but by showing you uh, what they believe, you know, the, you are also getting these limiting beliefs as well. So, you know, when it comes to money, it could be where you feel that um, you, you have to really work hard for, for money. You know, that's one limiting belief. Or if you are, you know, believing that, um, you know, time equals money, so you have to work a certain amount of hours in order to be able to get the money that, you know, you deserve, you know, that is also a limiting belief. So those type of things, it's going to be important for us to 
steal from and let go of so that we can really be in that flow of um, the abundance and be able to manifest those things that we truly want to manifest. So and that is a little bit about what limiting beliefs are. You know, there's also those limiting beliefs when it comes to who we are and how we feel about ourselves. You know, when we uh, grow up in this society, a lot of times we are told in different ways that we're not good enough in some way or we're not able to do those things that we're meant to do. But the divine always reminds us that we are capable of doing anything that we truly want, that we are amazing souls, that we can achieve those things that we really want, that are, we are passionate about. And the divine brings us um, those passions. They give us these passions and these emotions of desire and excitement and love because we are meant to go after those things, go after what it is that we're passionate about, go after what it is that we truly want. And so because of things, things that, that we hear from, from other people, people from, from society, from, from media, social media, or, or even just media in general, um, and, and even also um, from, from our parents, parents, we get these limiting beliefs saying that we're not good enough, that we can't do anything that we really, really want, that, you know, we, we need to study hard, and we have to you know, get these grades in order for us to be able to do those things that we want to do, and then that... You know, if we, and all of those things really layer on top of what it is that who we truly are, it keeps us from really understanding that we are meant to do these amazing things. We are meant to, you know, step out of our comfort zones and to be able to make an impact in this world. And so it's going to be really it really is important for us to heal from those, to let those go and release those, and to remember that we are amazing, we are powerful, and we can do anything. And so a lot of times when it comes to limiting beliefs, we, you know, share with other people to do affirmations and do um, all these things to really get our mindset to be in that right direction, to have that positive mindset, to always remember, to help us to remember that we can do anything and that we are capable of doing anything. But if we don't have that healing, deep healing first before we do those affirmations, it's, it's going to always come back. Uh, those affirmations are not going to work the way that it should. And so, you know, a lot of times you say, you know, you're told to say, I am, you know, enough or I am love and all those things. But you have to really believe it. And when it comes to truly believing that, it's about healing from it and changing that story, that inner story that we have, that belief, changing that limiting belief knowing and making it a belief that's not limited. You know, it, and there's a reason why it's called limiting belief. It's limiting us from being able to do those things that we can do. We can do anything that we truly want. But, you know, we have this mind channel ego that steps forward and says, no, we can't, because it's keeping us safe. It's keeping us from being able to you know, go after those things that we truly want and to go after it. And a lot of times, you know, for instance, if you're looking at a job app application and you know, you're wanting to apply for this job, but you see all of these requirements that um, are keeping you from and it's telling you that, oh, I can't apply for this job because I don't have those, I don't fulfill those requirements or I don't have those skills. That is a limiting belief. That is keeping you from you know, being able to do those things that you meant to do. So, you know, I, I tell clients and I tell other people all the time that those requirements, yes, they're there as a guideline, but that is not set in stone. So, you know, I encourage you, if 
that job really resonates with you and really feels good to you, to go for it, to apply for it, you know, and we have to remember, not only do we feel, you know, as those applying for the jobs feel into the energy of those jobs, but employers and others can feel into the energy of you as well. You know, how it feels, how you feel when it comes to this job and how it would um, be for you. And so, you know, don't let these requirements and uh, requirements stop you from applying for that job because you never know if it's really meant for you, if you really feel good about it, it's going to be for you and it's going to be that stepping stone for you for other things to come. And so, you know, this is what we mean by limiting beliefs, those fears and doubts and those things that keep us from um, being able to step out of our comfort zone, telling us that we're not able to do something, that we're not good enough in some way, or that we're not meant for something. No, we are meant for anything that we truly desire, whatever it is that we truly want. So I would love for you to give me a call uh, at 714-816-4628 if you'd like to chat about this topic, as well as if you'd like some guidance. Um, and don't forget to press 1 on that keypad so that you can be on air with me. Um, but I would love to talk to you about what it is that you're going through, you know, even with this full moon that we just had. And, and, you know, I'm here to help you to understand what it is that you need to release, what it is that you need some guidance on. So I'm going to uh, take a few calls. So let's take our first caller, caller, area code 614. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Dustin and I'm calling from Columbus, Ohio. Um, what was your name again? Bill's son. Bill's um, son, son, like the son. Bill's son. Uh, Bill's son? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, so, how are you doing today? Um, I'm kind of drained and tired and exhausted. Okay. Um, did you have a specific question that um, you wanted to ask or in general guidance? Yes, uh, I would like some, I guess, general guidance around the area of love. Okay, so um, I have Archangel Raphael stepping forward for you, and what he's showing me is there's some things from your past um, that is affecting your relationships. It, it affects relationships in general. So not just lo like um, partners, love, but um, friendships as well. Um, so there are some things that are coming in um, and I think that you're feeling them. So you're feeling them, but you're also um, getting it in your awareness um, during this time, you know, especially with this full moon that's coming up. Um, you know, when it comes to um, feelings of support, and loneliness that's coming forward. Um, I also have Archangel Uriel stepping forward for you because he wants to work with you when it comes to your confidence as well. So, you know, I want to, you to tune in with them because they're going to show you where this stems from so that you can feel it and release it so that your energy can shift. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. So, you know, when it comes to being tired um, and exhausted, it's actually part of this energy, the full moon energy that's coming in. So, you know, tuning in with them and, you know, helping, they're going to help you to understand how to shift that so that um, you can um, feel this energy that you're meant to feel that's coming in uh, later this week you know, once we're out of this full moon energy um, and the opportunities that are going to come in, there's going to be a lot of different signs for you that are going to be shown. So it's going to be important for you to 
um, be aware of those signs. So, it, but the thing is to be open to um, how it comes in. So, you know, not to look for something specific, but to be open and to understand that it can come in in any different way. So, um, so I do see a lot of good things coming for you. So just be open and um, be, you know, be sure to tune in with them, do some meditating, and that always helps when it comes to energy, um, your energy as well as to, um, you know, help you to um, understand what those next steps are for you in order for you to um, raise your vibration, but also to understand that the divine is always working for your good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. So when it comes to, uh, let's go ahead and um, we have a question in the chat room. So um, Ala, I don't know if you're still on, but um, will I get a good boyfriend? Yes, I do see one coming in for you, but I do, with this full moon, and I, I see this right now for you as well, Archangel Raphael, as well as Archangel Uriel stepping forward. So there are some things coming in when it comes to lack of confidence, uh, when it comes to your identity and understanding who you truly are and what it is that you're meant to do. And that is what's coming in for you. So it's going to be important for you to work with Arch the Archangels to help you, um, you know, through meditation to help you to understand what it is that um, you need to clear what it is that you need to let go of so that you could be in this energy. Um, so, all right. <laughs> um, before we go on, and I'm going to do a meditation that's going to help release some of this um, full moon energy. So, um, before we do that, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, make some announcements. I uh, know what it is that's going on at Psychic Talk. So tomorrow on Tuesday, October 15th, we have cryptids. Um, so be sure to, or the, um, the Power of Three show will be talking about uh, cryptids and yetis and a lot of very interesting things. So be sure to tune in with our psychic medium, Rose Full Horse, as well as Paranormal investigator and tarot reader Dave Nunnally for their show tomorrow on The Power of Three. So be sure to tune in there. Also be sure to tune in with the doctors um, on October 18th on Friday. And they will be doing open lines. So be sure to tune in with Dr. Rose, Dr. Sharona, Sharona as well as Dr. Gatt. Um, and then on Saturday, on Psychic Saturday, Mary Brown and Dex Carly will be talking about the tarot court and the master numbers. So if you are wanting to learn more about tarot, be sure to tune in with them as well. And then on Sunday will be an angel practitioner spotlight um, on um, the show with Maria Jumont on um, Angelic Realm. So be sure to tune in and... Um, Angel practitioner Ginger Garvey will be there uh, with us. And then next week, I will be talking about raising your vibration. So October has been about growth and transformation and expansion. And so, you know, especially after talking about limiting beliefs today, I'm going to be discussing raising our vibrations. And so be sure to um, tune in uh, for that show. Also, I do want to mention that what I have started re um, this past weekend, um, and you know, when I say it comes to um, energies of the week, um, 
you know, the divine has me go through the energy first during the weekend. And so, you know, it's always amazing how it just kind of correlates with what it is I need to talk about. And one of the things that, um, one of the ideas that the divine has shown me is to do personalized um, meditation. So um, it's a meditation that is specific to what it is that you need. And you know, I would be tuning in with your energy and then you know, being shown by the angels and your guides on what it is that we need to do in order to um, send you that energy that you need to let, help you to let go of the energy that you don't. And it's personalized to you. Um, so you know, I, I've done a couple uh, full moon meditations this weekend for a few people and it's just amazing how the angels really step forward and show me what it is that you really need to let go of and release and work on and so if that is something that you're interested in um, it is a small investment of $22 and um, I would be sending you an audio on that meditation so you can play it over and over again however many times that you need to and it will help you to also do you know, especially if you are new to medita uh, meditating um, I go through the step-by-step -step process and help you to be able to um, be able to be still and be able to um, see and understand which angels are stepping forward for you, um, as well as anything else that, you know, comes in, whether it's an inner child that comes in, or whether it is a journey that we need to go on. And so all of those things would be in that meditation. So, you know, that meditation could be anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to half an hour. Um, so if that is something that you're interested in, please be sure to uh, connect with me and you can go to psychitalk.net slash Catherine and um, find me through those um, pages as well. So let's go ahead and take a few more calls and then we will do a meditation um, as well. So let's see, caller area code 347. Uh, what is your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hello, caller, 347. Oh, okay. Um, we'll get back to them a little later. They might have stepped out for a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get back to them. So, um, uh, and let's get... <laughs> The, having this uh, Facebook Live um, is so interesting because you know, I just look back and forth from um, a couple pages. But uh, we have Gloria on the chat room asking about feeling better. And Gloria, I hope you're listening. But um, yes, you know what is going to happen is right now that you're we're in this energy as a full moon and so it's exacerbating a lot of um, you know whether it's you know body aches that we have or low energy and not feeling as if we're not ourselves and so it's really important for you to release and let go of those things that no longer serve you those things that are not who you truly are so if there are any doubts that are coming in for you, and I have Archangel Uriel stepping forward uh, for you as well, and what what I'm being shown is there are some things that they're showing you when it comes to your next steps, but it's really important for you to um, release these fears and doubts so that you can step forward into them. And once you do, you, you are going to start feeling better when it comes to uh, physically, but also mentally, it's just you're going to have this um, better energy when it comes to um, being able to shift that energy um, and being able to 
really just be able to do those things that you're meant to do. I see so many great things for you, Gloria. Um, I see so many things that you're meant to do and that the angels are showing you your next steps, you know, the things that you want to manifest that are coming in. And so, you know, releasing those blocks, releasing those things that are not who you truly are is going to be important for you to do so that you can really step out into uh, what it is that you're meant to do and just feel this. It's going to be like this fresh air that comes in and just it, it's going to really um, immerse you in this that energy. So, you know, keep tuning in with your guides. Keep tuning in with the angels. And they're going to show you. They're going to help you with this. Um, you know, it's going to be important for you to tune in with them every day. You know, they show you. They don't, you know, give us this huge list of things that we need to do, but it's, you know, one step at a time that they show us. And as you do that, it's going to help you feel better. It's going to help you to um, be in this energy that you're meant to be in to help you to move forward, to create those things that you're meant to create, and to um, make that impact that you're meant to make. So I hope that helps, Gloria. Um, let me know if you have any other questions, and I would be happy to um, help you with that. So. Let's go back to our caller here um, and see if they're back. Um, er Hello, area code 347. Hello? Okay. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and um, do our meditation. And during this meditation, it's going to really help you with this full moon energy, energy to help shift it and to help you to bring to the surface what it is that you are meant to um, understand and heal so that you can let that go and release it um, so that you can really do those things that you're meant to do. So if you are able... I want to encourage you to close your eyes. And take a few deep breaths. And I have Archangel Uriel. And Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael, as well as Archangel Michael stepping forward. And right now, as they step forward, they're going to be helping you to expand the energies of your chakras. So they're going to help you to expand your chakras, each of your chakras. So from your root chakra to your sacral chakra, as well as your solar plexus and your heart chakra. And your throat chakra. and your third eye chakra, and your crown chakra. So as they help you expand this with their energies that they bring, we're going to combine all of the different colors of energies that they bring individually, and it's going to be swirling around you. So the chakras you know, being opened and it's going to expand out into the space that you're in. And the energies that the archangels bring are going to surround you. So it's going to be swirling around you. As if you're in this tunnel. 
or you're encased in And as this energy that the, arch, the archangels bring, as it swirls around you, it's going to help bring to the surface all of those limiting beliefs about who you are, the limiting beliefs that come in that tells you that you can't do something or you're not good enough. The limiting beliefs that come in that, that do not serve you, that are not who you truly are. You're going to come out and all of this old energy is going to be a vacuum into this energy that the angels bring. And as they do this, it's going to be taken up into this cloud of energy that's above you, this violet and pink cloud. And this energy that goes up, the, the old stuff energy, it's going to be transmuted, it's going to be transformed into this bright white light of energy, these drops of energy that are going to fill all those gaps where all of your stuck energy was. I want you to take a few deep breaths. Really feel into that energy. And as this happens, as your in this gaps where your old energy was is still, to notice the messages of that to the angels bring to you. And when it comes to who you are. when it comes to those things that you need to release, those thoughts that you need to release, those thoughts that you need to heal and let go of. So that you can move into this energy that we're meant to move in so that we can take those next steps so that we can step out of our comfort zone. And achieve the things that we're meant to achieve. So now the archangels are going to sit back and they're going to help you to ground your energy. So from your root chakra, all the way down to the center of the earth, there's going to be this white light that connects you. And from the center of you, there's going to be strands of blue and white light that comes up. And as it comes up, it's going to wind around, starting from your feet. And as it reaches each of your chakras, it's going to to this, these strands of energy is going to help contract your energy, your chakras, and align them back into your body. So starting from your root to your sacral chakra, to your solar plexus, to your heart chakra, and to your throat chakra, your third eye, and your crown. 
So now Archangel Michael is going to step forward and he's going to surround you in this big bubble of bright blue and white energy. So it's going to be like you're in this big bubble. And this bubble is going to be filled with his energy, his energy of protection, his energy of helping you to understand that you are powerful, that you can do anything that you truly want, and then understanding that the angels and your guides are always there for you. I want you to take a few deep breaths. And when you're ready, you can open up your eyes. And welcome back. So I hope that meditation has helped you to know what it is that, is com that are coming forward for you that you need to release and let go of. And so that you can really move forward in this energy of creating, move this energy, uh, move forward in this energy of taking action on what your next steps are. And I'm just so excited because, you know, we're almost at the end of this month. And this month, you know, being about transformation and expansion, it's there to all these things that we're receiving all these messages that we're receiving is to help us to learn, to help us to grow, um, so that we can understand that we can do those things that we're meant to do. So, now and thank you all for um, joining me today. And you know, like I had mentioned, you know, these learning beliefs they can be healed, and you can feel it. You can feel from them. You can let go. Um, and and release them so that you can move into what it is that you're meant to do and what it is that your next steps are. And the divine always has our back. Our, the divine always has, um, you know, they're always working for our highest good. And so it's always important for us to remember that. And... Um, to have that mindset, to always remember that they're always there supporting us and guiding us. And that's why Archangel Michael stepped forward today um, to remind us of that. So, you know, if there's anything that you're going through, anything that just doesn't feel good, to tune in with the angels and to ask them why is it that you're feeling this way. Because remember, we are meant to feel um, happy, and we're meant to feel in joy. And so remembering that and um, knowing that they're always there. We're always, we're never alone. And so and we are all able to connect with them. We're all able to connect with our guides. We're all able to connect with um, our inner selves and um, who we truly are. And so, you know, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, today, and I want to thank everyone for joining me, whether it was on Facebook or through Blog Talk. We had a little, a few glitches here and there today, but you know that's okay. You know it happens, especially when it comes to technology. But um, I want to thank everyone for joining me, and as always, I'm sending you uh, lots of love and light. And I. You know, this week is going to be amazing when it comes to this energy. So, um, you know, as we tune in, as we do the meditating, and as we look to our angels and guides to um, have this knowing that everything is going to be working out for your highest good and everything is going to be wonderful and amazing. And that we are to, you know, trust and believe that they are there to help us and they are there to guide us. So, so you have lots of love and light. And I will, I will talk to you all next week for our 
show on raising your vibration. So I can't wait for that, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.